All right, Shalom. This is the brother Chaya High here coming back at you with another video. Through the Spirit, I want to go ahead and give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rokhak Wadash. Double honor to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. And salutations to the elect, Habachayar. Okay, Shalom. Yeah, man, um, I'm going to go into a quick little lesson on how we need to be laying up. Uh, treasures in heaven we don't ha really have to worry about anything getting any kind of glory or, or um anything from the world on this side man because as the scriptures say yeah how about took us out of the world all right we are not of the world okay the scriptures also say if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him and we know the father loves us you know us being a hopeful elect okay because on this side we're going to be taking l's every single day every single moment all right, because again, the world hates us. Okay, this is our captivity. All right, we ain't supposed to be living it up and and um um getting involved with that vain glory shit. All right, worrying about you know what I'm saying, your your next dollar, and again, just trying to please yourself all the time because all the all the real pleasure is gonna start when the kingdom of heaven is taking that manifestation, that physical manifestation. Okay, because it's already beginning in our minds. We're getting our minds out of the world. Okay, which is America, which is Babylon and Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, we're taking our minds out of the philosophies of this place. All right, because it's wicked as hell. All right. So again, we gotta we gotta lay up those spiritual treasures, man. Don't worry about what you don't have on this side. You're just gonna get everything manifold on the other side, man. In the kingdom. All right. So we ain't, we ain't really got shit to worry about. Okay. And with that being said, I'm start off with the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty nine, verse ten. It says. Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let not it rust under a stone to be lost. Yeah, lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend. Mean or what? That don't mean, you know, I mean, if you if you only got, you know what I'm saying, if you're down to your last dollar, and you sincerely want to give it to your brother, you know what I'm saying, you go ahead and do that. Or this is, uh, I feel like this is really just saying, you know, if you got some money that you can offer up to your brother, you know, while you, you yourself is, is good at the time, but whether you are or you're not, you just go ahead and give it to your brother, man. All right, hey, just go ahead and do it because you never know. You know, again, I might be the brothers. Hey, we we spirit through the spirit. We angels, man. Like we believe we angels. And you, how about Shema Shah, Um, is is writing that down, man. The angels is writing that down. All right, that you lost your last dollar or you lost some money for um for your brother, man. Are you sincerely helping your brother out? You know, that's why that's why we give tides, okay? Because we helping our brothers out. Because through the spirit, again, we we really believe we are the elect, man. We we are a family, we are a body in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, so we continue to give to each other. Okay? It says, Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rust the rust under a stone to be lost. Verse eleven. It says, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Okay, so go ahead, lose lose your money, man. Because you gotta remember, we we are we already lost everything. Okay, so us losing our money for for the sake of uh, of of um for the sake of our brothers, man. Yah Bashem is just gonna bless you even more. But you gotta believe in that. Okay, it says lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High. Yeah, man, you gotta lay up wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's the real treasure. That's the real money right there. All right, that's the real loot. It says, and this shall bring thee more profit than gold. All right, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is gonna bring you more profit than. You know what I'm saying? These gold or these uh these FRNs and so on and so forth. All right, wisdom. The scriptures say wisdom is more precious than rubies. Okay, there's nothing better than having wisdom. Okay, it says shut up alms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. Okay, shut up alms in thy storehouses. All right, that means save save money, man. Whatever kind of whatever kind of bread you could store and stash up, you know, for camp or for a brother. Uh, uh, personally and so on and so forth all right save that up and then when it come time to give it you can just go ahead and give it all right again you lose money for your brother all right it don't it don't matter it don't matter what you what you uh uh you know what i'm saying what you're going through because again you how about shimon is just going to give it right back to you okay the scripture say the lord loveth a cheerful giver you know i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna go into that a little bit more as well all right but let's go ahead to the new testament the book of um second corinthians chapter nine and i'm gonna start at verse six it says but this i say he which soweth sparingly 
shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Okay? It says he would sow sparingly. Okay? You barely give it to the brotherhood. All right? Because you want to be a, a, a selfish, a overly selfish, stingy nigga. Okay? You, you may be the one with, with all the money and so on and so forth, but you know what I'm saying? You, you, don't, you don't want to give to brothers. Okay? You're looking at brothers funny and so on and so forth. All right? It says he would sow sparingly shall reap also sparingly. Okay? Going into the work too. Okay, you don't want to do you don't wanna you don't wanna sow uh, uh that abundance of working, all right? Then you're not gonna get much in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Yeah, you hey the scriptures say we're gonna reap what what uh, what we sow, man. Okay, so are you putting in that work? Are you giving to the brotherhood? All right, because we you want if you want to reap abundance, then you gotta sow abundance, all right, in the work and the faith, okay, with the brotherhood. It says, and he which sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. There you go. All right, so if you're sowing all your works and your labors together, okay, for your Habash, Shemi, all right, you're you going to reap so much more in the kingdom of heaven, okay? And again, you you have to sincerely believe that because, again, man, we have nothing on the side. We don't have anything. All right, this is this, hey, the scriptures say this is not our rest. All right, so why not go harder in the spirit, okay? Verse 7, it says, Every man, according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for the most high loveth a cheerful giver. There you go, man. All right, I quoted it earlier. All right, but this is the scripture right here. It says, every man, according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. Like, ah, oh, man, I really need this right now, but I know my brother need it. And so, so I, I, I don't want to give it to him, but I'm giving to him anyway. And shit like that. Nah, man, you, you shouldn't be thinking twice about that shit. All right, because that's that's real. That's a demon on Jake, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake Jake don't want other. You know? You got brothers who, who lost everything, man. Okay, who who gave up, who really, like, literally gave up their lives for the, for the truth, man, and, and lost everything. That You know, they may have, have had some, you know what I'm saying, some type of status or substance in the world. But you got brothers who, who lost all of that, and Yahweh Hashem Hashem brought them brothers to a low place for the sake of building their faith more, all right, which is a beautiful thing, okay? So Yahweh Hashem Hashem, he, he's going to do that to you, all right? Now it's up to the to the other brothers, that you know what I'm saying, to, to continue to deal with that brother, you know what I'm saying, and, and help him out to the best of their ability, all right? And that's what that's what brothers do for each other, man. We're servants to each other through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, okay? It says, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity, for the most I loveth a cheerful giver. Yeah, man. Okay? Don't, don't, hey, don't be stingy, man. All right? The scriptures uh, tell you in, um, I believe it's Micah 3 and 8. Okay? A lot of these niggas rob the most high in tithes and offerings. All right? That's that's a necessity and a truth. All right? That's needed because what? The, hey, the el like, hey, like we always say, man, the elders should not be working. Okay, the elders should not be busting their ass anymore. As far as the world, okay, because they 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 laboring for us in the truth. All right, they they pushing our videos for us for our understanding for our learning. Okay, so we got to be giving, man. All right, give hey, give up as much as you can give. All right, sometimes brothers don't got it like that. All right, but again, whatever you can give, just go ahead and give it, man. Yahweh Hashem is gonna give it right back to you. Okay. Let me see, um, verse 8, it says, And the Most High is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Okay? So, again, just, just go ahead and give it up, because the Most High, seeing that you gave up whatever you had, all right, that's, that's your, um, you're going to be abundant in grace, in the Most High's grace. Okay? Yeah, how about Shemal Shah is dealing with you? All right? You're going to abound to every good work. Are right, you going to increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? The Lord may bless you with things that you ain't even asking for, like He did King Solomon. All right, and all King Solomon did was um, he just he he prayed for wisdom to judge the people, to judge Israel, and the Most High gave him everything, man. Okay, everything according to a man's pleasure uh, in his heart. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, that was the point right there. Okay, you give to your brothers, you 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 continue give. Given to the brotherhood, the Most High is gonna is gonna um um give you abundance in grace and mercy, all right, and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know. 
But that was the point there. Let me get this in the book of 1 Peter. Still in the New Testament. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4. Start at verse 8. Okay? All right, it's a beautiful thing to be given to the brotherhood, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just brothers sincerely help each other out. All right, brothers ain't no no nigga shit like Judas Iscariot. Okay? It says, and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. There you go. That's that's that abundance and grace that the most high is gonna bless you with. Alright? When you when you not when you're not um um uh withdrawing your hand from the from the brotherhood. Alright, we're supposed to be continuously giving to each other, all right, edifying each other through the spirit, okay, with videos, you know what I'm saying? With with uh you know brothers get up in fellowship. Okay, we always we always feeding each other through the spirit. Okay? And it's the same thing with these FRNs on this side because Again, brothers be needing that shit. Okay? You may got you may have a brother in the camp, you know what I'm saying? He he may have a little bit more than the next one, and you got that brother who really who who hardly has anything at all. Okay, but we all help each other to to be, you know, like to to kind of level things out, so to speak. Okay? Cause there's no reason why any brother, any brother in the truth should be worrying about his next meal or what he's gonna eat and so on and so forth. Alright, we gotta be helping each other out. All right, that, that starts with speaking up as well. Okay, if you need help, pray to you, Habash Yim Shah. Go talk to the brothers. Hey, and the spirit may, may have many brothers, many different brothers help you out, man. You, you don't know, you know? It says, and above all things, have fervent charity. Yeah, always be ready to give to a brother, man. Okay? It says, among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. There you go, man, because us being in, in Babylon, are right, we going off all the damn time. All right, the, hey brothers, we all we really all we got. Do the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Okay, we're trying to have all of our sins blotted out, erased, covered. Okay, the scriptures say, um, I believe in Psalms the fifty first chapter, make me whiter than snow. All right, King David was asking the Lord to make him whiter than snow. All right, and this is this is the way. All right, this is how that comes about. All right, for uh, to give charity, man. All right, verse nine it says, use hospitality. One to another without grudging. Yeah, hospitality, man. Being hospitable. Are right, you taking care of your brothers? You know, brothers go over to their house. Uh, to each other's house, man. All right? They just kind of chill out. Fellowship. Sip some yayan or shakar. Whatever it is. You know, brothers get up and eat. Okay? Brothers get comfortable. Why? Because you're in the presence of a brother. And we all in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. So we got to be hospitable, man. All right? Like Yahweh Shah was. Perfect example. Okay, he was washing his disciples' feet. You know, that's humility right uh, That's humility right there. All right? And he didn't do it grudgingly. Like, ah, oh, man, I can't believe him doing this shit. And yada, yada. Nah, man. All right? The brother shouldn't be like that. It says, um, use... No, I read that. Verse 10, 1 Peter 4 and 10, it says, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of the most top. All right, as good stewards. All right, that word steward means servant. All right, like I said earlier, we are servants one to another. Okay? Again, going back to we all we got. All right, so we, we losing our money. We losing whatever for the sake of our brothers. You got brothers in the truth that, that give each other clothes, man. All right, that's heavy, man. When you, when you, when you get rid of things to, to help, to sincerely help your brother out, that's a beautiful thing. In the eyes of Yahab HaShem Yahweh Shah, the Lord is dealing with that. The Lord is seeing all of those righteous works, okay? And through grace and mercy, the other, the brother that was given all of those things, his mercy and his grace is going to abound. It's going to flourish, all right? And hey, you should want, hey, you should, you should, you should want that, man. You should desire, you should covet that grace and that mercy and that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? That's why you give, man. You give not grudgingly, okay? It says, um... As every man hath received the gift, all right, the Holy Spirit, the Rechak Wadash, even so minister the same one to another. All right, again, we in the Holy Spirit of the Lord as good stewards of the manifold grace of the Most High. Yeah, manifold grace, okay? We all, all right, we always getting, we always receiving grace and mercy from the Most High because what? We so, we so fervent in charity towards each other, okay? We got, and we got to continue to do that even when the Lord come back, all right, till the Lord come back. You know, let me get this in the book of Matthew. All right. Which is um furthering on into the point of this lesson. 
Okay, you got to lay up for yourselves spiritual treasures, man. Like those treasures in heaven. It says, lay not up for yourselves. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Okay? So, they, hey, don't, don't be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be trying to um, get these super duper nice ass cars. All right? These, these, little, these little chariots and so on and so forth. Okay, don't be don't be trying to spend all your uh, uh spend all your money that you supposedly saved up for the brotherhood on on a bunch of Jordans and shit. Okay, these 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 uh these weak ass garments out here are right, basically all all the materialistic worldly shit. Okay, don't don't lay it for yourselves treasures on earth. All right, don't be looking for that incorruptible. No, so like it. Don't be looking for that corruptible crown because that's exactly what that is. You want some type of status in the world. Now, you shouldn't want that for yourself if you if you call yourself a man of the Lord and you you so called in the truth. All right, you're not gonna be looking for some type of love or status from this society. All right. It says with these break through and steal. Yeah, because all things on this side are temporal. All right, it's temporary, man. Okay. It's hey, all this shit is about to disappear. It's about to vanish. Hey, somebody could run up in your car in your crib and take whatever they want from you. And ain't shit you can do about it. All right, that's why it's important not to, to trust in all of these vain things because they vain, man. They don't mean anything. Verse 20, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven when neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and what thieves do not break through nor steal. All right, now what are these treasures? All right, these are talking about the, the spiritual gifts, okay? The scriptures talk about coveting those spiritual gifts, man. You should you should want those things, all right? Because they're, um, they're um, a necessity to your faith. All right, for you to become a better man, a better brother, a better prophet. All right, to you, how about Shimmy How All right, you got to lay up those spiritual treasures, man, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You should, you should desire righteousness. All right, the righteous things. Again, going back to um, First Kings, the third chapter, King Solomon praying for wisdom. All right, we have to be in that spirit. Ask the Lord for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and He's going to increase you in in that. Not only in that, but He can do much. He can do much, many more things for you. You know? All right? Be it according to your faith. It says, but lay it for yourselves treasures in heaven. All right? So that's why we, you know, going back to that, um, that, uh, that second Corinthians. Okay? We're going to, we're going to sow bountifully so that way we can reap bountifully. Okay? So that's why we, we going so hard in the work and being so fervent in the spirit. All right? On this side, so that way we can reap bountifully in the kingdom. All right? The Lord is going to give you so much more the lord is going to put you on in that in that in that status man all right the lord is going to give you that status man okay and nobody can take this wisdom knowledge and understanding away from you okay it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also yeah man so your treasure all right speaking about the world and the truth so if you if you got your mind so so fixed on some status or some glory that you want in the world that's what your mind is going to be. That's what that's what the word heart means. Going back to the Hebrew word love, it means mind. So whatever your mind is set on, okay, that's what that's that's what your treasure is going to be, okay. Going into the world and the truth, all right. And the elect, the elect's minds is going to be on the kingdom of heaven, okay. They're sincerely enjoying it as the uh, as the one hundred forty four thousand that they are, okay. So if your mind is on the world, hey, your treasure going to be in the world. And ultimately, the treasure that you're going to be chasing after in the world, all right, it's, hey, that's going, you're going to chase that shit to your destruction. Because this world, hey, it's about to pass away. The scriptures say the fashion of this world passeth away. You know? So that's why our brother's minds is focused on the kingdom. Because that's what we desire, man. All right, we desire the kingdom of, 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 of Israel, us ruling again. All right, being in total righteousness. All right, being kings and priests and gods with a lowercase g. Okay, but that was the point on that. All right, it, you just you gotta you gotta fix your mind up to where to where you want to be, man. Okay, and it should it should always be in the truth, you know. But you got niggas out here who they heads is all in the clouds, you know. They want that vain glory, okay. And that's why that's why these guys fall off and fall off the way they do, all right, because they desiring that that all of this all of this vanity that's in this lifestyle. All right, this is the book of Colossians chapter three, verse one. It says, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, 
seek those things which are above. Boom, there you go. All right, you got to look forward to the kingdom. You got to look forward to, to building up your inward man more and more, building up your spirit, building up your brother's spirit, okay? Seek those things which are above, all right? Because the scriptures say what? We are holy, man. Or we are separate like the most high, okay? It says where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the most high. Yeah, man, you want to be on the right side of the most high. You want to be on his good side. Verse 2, it says, set your affection on things above, not things on the earth, all right? It can't get any more plain than that. All right, set your affection, man. Set your, set your heart, your mind on the things in the, in the spirit, man, all right, on the, which is the kingdom of heaven, not on the earth. Like the scriptures say, what well, moth and rust doth corrupt, okay? The things of this world is, is temporal. It's going to pass away very soon, you know? And we're witnessing the, the, crumbling, uh, the crumbling of Babylon, all right? Verse 3, it says, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach and Yahweh. All right? Yeah, we, hey, we're dead in the flesh, man. Okay? We're, we're dead, man. We have, again, we have no life on this side. We're not living. We're just, we're just existing. Okay? We're existing because we're, we're serving out our captivity. All right? The scriptures say we die daily. All right? So, if we're already dead, how can a dead man be looking forward to some treasures that, that he can't obtain, man? All right. That's why we, we don't have a life on the side, man. We have our life with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, because he promised to them that love him that eternal life. Okay, that grace, that abounding grace and mercy. You know? So we're setting our affections on the spiritual things so that way we can continue to abound in that grace and mercy that the Lord promised to them that love him. Okay? But that was the point on that. You know, like I said, man, I just wanted to do this quick little video. Just again, just reminding ourselves. And the strong part of it was, uh, <laughs> um, I believe it was the brother from the Dallas camp. You know, he was watching um football game and, a, and an angel appeared like in the middle of the game. Like the, the head of an angel appeared in the middle of the game, man. All right. The Lord, hey, I'm, I, hey it's, it's heavy out here, man. You know, but I'm not going to go too, too deep in on that. But again, man, it's just reminding ourselves that, but we almost, we almost out of here, man. We are almost out of here. The Lord is showing very powerful signs, showing chariots all over the place. Our brothers having different dreams and visions, you know, all about the kingdom. All right, so we got a lot to look forward to, man. Okay, so we got to continue to remind each other to set our, our minds on the things above, not the things on the earth, because we got so much more coming to us, Akim, you? you know? So Lord willing, that was edifying through the spirit. I want to go ahead and give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rechak Wadash. Double honor to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutations to the elect, Habachayar, Shalom.